Namaste, namaste, namaste. This is Athena Starseed, and welcome to our 1111 Global Broadcast. Good morning. Um, thought I'd start with a little flute before we started to pray. Close your eyes and open your hearts and imagine four huge archangels on each side of this planet. Huge archangels protecting our planet, allowing the sun to beam down right through our bodies, electrifying our souls. Archangel Thank 
angel Uriel, sacred geometry. You connect us to heaven, and on earth it shall be. Father God, from the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men and women. Let light return to earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men and women. May the Christ consciousness return to earth in the center where the will of God is known. Let the center guide the little wills of men, the center which the masters know and serve. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. May the plan of love, light, and power restore heaven on earth. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, Father Sky, Mother Earth, from the point of light that connects us all, please be here in this sacred circle of light and allow me, Athena Starseed, to be a channel, a clear channel for humanity and all ascended masters, avatars, angelic beings, and all of our universal entities. Amen and amen. We are in, yay! All right, we're in. Okay, so, do do do. A rattle, let's talk about instruments for a second. A rattle has the ability to let go of negative thought forms. So if you have any type of a little egg shaker at your house, or you can even get a can um, and put some uh, beans in it and make your own homemade rattle. And you can just shake it around your head when you're feeling negative and clear your mind. Clear your mind. Right. So once you clear your mind, then you want to put happy mantras in your mind or happy medicine songs in your heart and your soul because that's what fortifies your aura. And all week long, we've been talking about spiritual hygiene, right? Cleaning our aura, cleaning our emotions, healing our bodies, our mind, and our soul. So on a foundational level, exercise every day. So we've been walking five miles a day and proper nutrition, fortified nutrition, right? Less is more. So don't fill your stomach up all the way and have mostly a colorful rainbow diet. All the colors in the rainbow, right? You want the antioxidants. You want the vegetables, you want the fruit, you want to start putting those rainbow colors in your diet, and that's what helps your body stay strong. And then emotionally, we chant. And then mentally, we're reading holy texts, sacred texts. We're increasing our vibration, looking at things that brighten us up, like mudras, mantras. So a mudra is a hand position, a mantra is a sound frequency word, like magic words that help you. And then meditation is when we're sitting in silence. So we prepare that uh, silence by singing and doing the mantras with the mudras. So here we go. Next medicine song. There's a part here for you too, okay? We are going to a sacred place. We are now in sacred space. We are living in a state of grace. 
we are loving in a sacred way. Here's you. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you. We are going to a sacred place. We are now in sacred space. We are living in a state of grace. We are loving in a sacred way. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you to the mineral kingdom. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you to the plant kingdom. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you to the animal kingdom. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you to the human kingdom. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you to the angels. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you to the avatars. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, Mother, Father, God. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. I love you. And to you and me, I love you, beloved. I am you, beloved. You are me, beloved. Yes, we are free in harmony. Yes, we are free. Blessings and light, blessings and light. Anita, yay! Here's our mantra, Anita. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you to the angels. Thank you to the blades of grass. Thank you to the rain. Thank you to the rainbows. Thank you to the sunshine, the sunshine that gives light and life to every living thing. Mwah! That's our mantra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I have my mudra cards here. I'm gonna shuffle them up here. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And then we're gonna pick a mudra, which is a hand position that's gonna help us heal. All right. Boopity boop. Here we go. Purifying. Here is our hand mudra. Okay, now let me open up our book here. We have our book here on our mudras. And I'm going to put my little purple glasses on so that I can read here. Okay, I'm going to show you this. And this is called the purifying mudra. Achala Agni. And Agni means fire. Achala Agni mudra. So this is um, a mudra that assists in digestion and balance and also in confidence. The benefits, mildly energizing for the body. It balances digestion, directs the breath and energy into the digestive organs. You know, that's the cornerstone of health right there is digestion. Helps to instill clarity, positive self-esteem and life direction may assist in releasing toxins that can cause dis-ease. The element is fire. So you wanna curl up all of your fingers inwardly like fists with the thumbs resting on top 
Extend the index finger up to the touch of the tips. Then lay the thumbs over the middle joints, touching the inside tips, and allow the knuckles of the middle ring and pinky fingers to touch. Bring the hands just in front of your solar plexus. Okay, that's like right down here. The solar plexus, right? That's the third chakra. The solar plexus, relax your shoulders just in front of your solar plexus. All right. So the focus is the subtle balance and purity guides me confidently forward. Once again, the focus. This subtle energy balances me and purifies me and guides me confidently forward. Here's the practice. See yourself in the center of pure white light that balances all aspects of your body and your mind. From above, the feeling of light is flowing into your body, face, and limbs. The light flows into the inner organs, balancing and purifying. The light flows into the mind in the same manner, releasing all toxic thoughts and transmuting them back into light. So beautiful. Okay, so let me do this right here. So we're pointing, thumbs, and we have our fingers in. Fingers are in, thumbs are pointing. Here is the mudra. All right, so I'm, this is our mudra. We're gonna put it over our solar plexus, and I am going to play a song that I wrote called Supreme Grace Light. This is on YouTube. And it has um, a very powerful mantra in it called the Gayatri Mantra. Okay, so keep your hands in your mudra, your purifying mudra, right? That's going to help with all disease. Anybody that's sick or wants to uh, boost their immune system, that is the mudra right there. Okay, so now let's look at the Gayatri Mantra meaning. So the Gayatri Mantra is Om Bobo Baswaha uh, Sata. Om Bobo Baswaha Sata. It's so much easier to sing. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you what it means. So usually you want to do this 108 times, and that is a sacred geometric number. That's a circumference of the earth that goes all the way out to the sun um, and many other special sacred mathematical numbers. But here's what it means. Let us adore the supremacy of the divine sun. And when they say sun, they mean God, all that is, all the light, okay? Let us adore the supremacy of the divine sun, the Godhead who illuminates all, who recreates all from all whom proceeds to all who must return. We must invoke to direct our understanding all right in our progress towards this holy seat of light. That is what the mantra means, okay? And so that is called the Gayatri Mantra. So I have, in the Supreme Grace Light, several different mantras. That's the main mantra on the chorus. <clears throat> However, the other mantra is Arupetum Jyoti Tani Perum Karone. Arupetum Jyoti. Jyoti is light. Aru perum jyoti, aru perum jyoti, tani perum karone, supreme grace light, supreme grace light, rain down through me. So you're gonna hold your hands in this mudra, the Agni mudra, purification, purification, and we're going to play the mudra, and we're gonna play the mantra. Here we go. Can you guys hear that? There we go. Mudra. Mm, beautiful. Okay, so if you guys want to change along. Hari Peram Jyoti, Tani Peram Karone, Hari Peram Jyoti, Tani Peram Karone, Hari Peram Jyoti, Tani Peram Karone, Haru Peram Jyoti. Haru Peram Jyoti, Tani Peram Karone, Haru Peram Jyoti, Tani Peram Karone, Haru Peram Jyoti, Tani Peram Karone, Haru Peram Jyoti. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. That's a Krishna mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 
Om Bhava Swaha, that's the 
Vasudaya Om Dhamma Vasvaha Tatsavitu Pareyam Harga Devasya Dimahi Tiyayana Prachodaya Yes, yes, and that's love, and that's love, and that's us, and we're love. And here's our, here's our mudra, our purifying mudra to increase the heat in our body. And you know what they said? They said the coronavirus is not going to be able to last in the heat of the spring and the summer sun. And those of you who are in the city of Los Angeles, the city of angels, it is the most beautiful day ever. I, I was like sleeping this morning. I was actually sleeping on this really cool little bed right here. Let me show you. Okay, here's my little room. This is my, that's my, my, my holy mother, God, that I, I did. And that's Reverence's little tiny um, tarot card. And this is the view of, this is my little desk here where I do my readings, my soul readings with all my tarot cards. I have my cocoa. That's outside. There's a slip and slide out there. Reverence has been slipping and sliding. And this is our little holy room. And there's Shiva. Om Namaha Shivaya. Om Namaha Shivaya. The destroyer. Yes, yes, yes. The aspect of God that destroys and creates. And there's Ganesha right behind me. But as I was sleeping on this little bed right here, sleeping on this bed, it was like, I don't know, maybe 8.30 in the morning, and I hear this guy walking out front, and he's like, it's a beautiful day! It's a beautiful day! And he was just you know, shouting that, walking through the neighborhood. And I was like, yes, every day is a beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day to have our mantra. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for another day on this glorious, beautiful Mother Gaia, this planet that we have, we're so grateful for. And we are thankful for the virus. Why? It's boosting our immune system. It's having us get in alignment with our priorities. It's giving us so much time home with our family, right? It's giving us time to figure out, hey, we came to this planet. Why did we come here, right? We have talents and magic within us that we have to get in touch with, and then we can offer that back to what? Thank you, Steve Jobs, for all the different Apple products so that we can broadcast live from exactly where we are. And thank you, PayPal, and thank you, all Patreon, most of us have Patreon sites where you can just receive donations after you give your offerings. And guess what? We are going to come out of this recession abundantly. In fact, our new earth is being um, planted right now. It's like blooming just like the spring. We are starting new economic innovation, right? We have the ability to now take Zoom calls and do all of our practices online, right? And we will be able to broadcast from our homes no matter where we are. So you guys, trade in your fear for innovation and wonderment. Remember, when there's a problem, there's always a solution. And we will find those solutions within our own treasure chest, with our own talents and energy. So now is the time. I'm going to pull a little tarot card. It's an oracle card, actually, from our Lightworker Oracle deck. Yay! And I think Monday, I'm gonna actually start exercising with you guys. I might go into um, another aspect of the Sound Palace Temple, which is what I call my home. It is a temple. I have altars in every room, and there are mantras playing 24 seven, and I'm usually um, here doing yoga. Yesterday, I did an hour and a half of yoga, 
with my daughter, Reverence, which was amazing. So I think Monday at 11.11, I might do some exercise with you. So those of you guys who wanna do some more exercise and get the body back into shape, boom, boom, let's get the body back into shape, right? Half a century, feeling good, looking good. It's keeping up the habits, right? All right, so let's see, we got um, Jefferson Keith on there. We have um, Anita. Somebody give me a number and I'm gonna pull the card that you tell me. So I'm gonna go down how many numbers, all right? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anybody who's watching right now, just go ahead and give me a number and I'm gonna go down that far and then I'm going to read what our card of the day is. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go down three, a one, a two, a three for the Trinity. Oh my God, look at this cute little baby. Look at that, that's your little inner child, your little baby. Look at that. And you know what it says here? Life path. And isn't this an awesome time to go into a meditation and find out what your life path is? What are you supposed to be working on? What's your biggest, most glorious giveaway to this planet? How can you leave this planet better than you found it with your talents and your love and your gifts? Okay? So let's go into uh, number 20. We're gonna open up our beautiful book, Life Path. All right, I'm gonna hold open the card. Let's see, can you get that? Let's see, there's our baby. Look at that little baby dreaming. And look at that angel right over the head. So precious, okay. Let's see if I can hold this steady. Do you wonder about your divine life path and your purpose? Have you been enrolled in a spiritual training program as you dream at night? This training might be obvious in the form of a course that you can understand or even a hidden life lesson that is currently triggering your healing and your growth and your learning right now. Whether it is obvious or not, successful completion in this training will empower you to fulfill your divine life purpose. Further clarity will be revealed to you. The universe promises that you shall know what you need to do at the perfect time and in the perfect way. You are currently in a spiritual training program for your divine mission that serves your soul development and your soul growth while simultaneously helping others. It will help you to express your spiritual purpose this lifetime. At times, your training may seem aligned with your study or applying your skills in ways that seem more obviously aligned with your spiritual path. At other times, your spiritual training may be disguised in ordinary life circumstances. If you are unsure of what you are meant to be learning and exactly how your spiritual training will be coming in at the moment, look at situations in your life that are causing you to struggle the most. This is where you will find your training taking place. The struggles are the places that are holding on to us and our ego and letting them go will release extra spiritual power. It is, however, nothing to be ashamed of. A growth edge where you are doing all of your inner work of growing into more peace, more trust, more love. This is a sign that you are certainly growing. Sometimes it may feel uncomfortable and sometimes it may cause you fatigue or even a feeling of depression or defeat. Yet, you shall not give up. You have to continue in this time and you shall triumph with feelings of peace, resolution, and the outcome is wisdom. Your outcome is wisdom. Our adversity is our inner university to remember we're here in service to the divine. So here is our invocation for today's card. I call upon the wise, unconditional, loving ones to assist me now in perceiving and living and manifesting my truest and most joyful life path and my divine purpose. Help me know what I need to know when I need to know it. And when everything else, and with everything else, 
May I, assist, may I be assisted to feel this peace and trust and patience as my beautiful life path unfolds, guided by a loving hand of the universe. May unconditional love reach into the hearts of all living beings, helping every creature to find true fulfillment of their destiny. May we all live in blessings and bliss with our divine life path in our service of our heart every single present moment. Amen, amen, and amen. Om, om, om. Here's your little baby. And all the angels taking that little baby saying, we know you came here to do something wonderful. Lest ye be like little children, we shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So let's all return to our inner children children. Yay! Once again, our purifying mudra, right? Our mantra, Om Bobo Vaswaha Tatsavi Tuvadeyam Pargo Devasya Dimahi Diyayana Prachodayat. That's the Gayatri Mantra. And our blessings and our blessings are to tune into our life purpose. And if you're still struggling with fear or anxiety, chant your way out. You can do it. And also, the other thing you can do is be in service. So um, there are many people that could be struggling. You could call a friend. You can encourage them. You can send an email of love. And you can get on your own path today and do something that your heart really desires. And your inner child knows exactly what that is. So my name is Athena Starseed. I'm going to continue broadcasting at 11.11 every day in the morning, Pacific Coast time, to keep the vibe high. So if you want a shot of inspiration and big, huge, angelic love, we're here for you. I'm backed up by my Ascended Master Avatar, Mahatma ba Baba Avatar, Baba G, who is an immortal, and also um, brings forth a lot of love and energy and a light on the planet. So this is an opportunity for us to continue to raise our vibrations. So um, once again, you can reach out to me at Ask Athena Intuitive Readings if you need some little help getting unstuck in a certain shock or in an area. I can do a soul reading for you. Also, um, I'm going to be putting some mantras on my timeline. And if you're watching this at YouTube, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Athena Starsea, Transformational Mystic, for anything on health, wellness, lifestyle, fasting, detoxing, breatharianism, and just fun, happy play. All right? I love you guys so much. All right. Be your best selves. Guru, be you. And stay tuned to the highest light. Amen and amen. Have a super Sunday. Bye.